Oh my god, would you look at that. I have work today at 2. That gives me just enough time to, to sit around and think about how I have work today at 2. I will now demonstrate neurodivergence. Oh my gosh, $1,000. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my god, I just got into Harvard and Yale and Berkeley. Nice. Okay. So I was just walking them down from the store. Oh my god, dice. Oh my god. How much are these? Oh my dice? god, they have dice here. Oh my fucking sale? god. Oh my god, look at all these dice, fucking dice. Dice, 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 That's my toxic trait. Don't ask me about your boyfriend or your job because you're going to get the same answers both times no matter what your situation is. Should I break up? Yes. Should I quit? Yes. The government's running out of money. <laughs> that must suck. I have a proposal. We need to make more of these. Um. Um. The win win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or. Growing up is realizing when people talk about sex, that shit's not a joke. I thought it was a hee hee ha ha inside jokey joke that I was not a part of. No. You mean to tell me I'm 21 years old? You mean to tell me y'all really out here fucking? Since we talk about things I thought was just an elaborate inside joke, you know what another one was? Drugs. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a jokey joke. You mean to tell me some of y'all really out here addicted to cocaine? Unironically, this is not a joke? I'm proud of it, quite frankly. God, please shut up. Please. And what did my little girl want? An absence of mood swings and some stability in my life. Yeah, uh, how about a pony? Okay. All right, let me know. When is it happening? Hello? Who's in my house? Is there no way we can get rid of him? Not without cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because I hate him. Just stay alive. That would be enough. Whoa, the bar is so much lower than I ever imagined. If any of you guys struggle with depression like I do, here's a tip that I picked up on over the years on how to get yourself out of a depressive episode and kind of start moving towards a place where you feel a little bit better about your current situation. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gaslight yourself. Sad? What the fuck do you mean you're sad? You're creating this false narrative about yourself and how you're feeling and it's really driving me insane. Because yesterday you woke up and you were the happiest you've ever been. I remember you telling me that. I've never told anybody this before. Like anybody. In 2014, during a depressive episode, I spent $87 on Candy Crush. Mm. No, because who's the one who should really feel awkward when a straight guy whistles at you on the street and you're just like don't pee on the floor, use the Commodore. I legit feel like a worthless sack of shit if I'm not providing, 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 making, making, doing, learning, thinking, healing. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, little German boy, don't go into that minimum wage job. Oh no, my spirit has been crushed by capitalism. At least I have Squish and Marlo. <laughs> Great. Great. My life is a fucking nightmare. Every second I'm alive. Just a sad Dr. Pepper floating in the tub. Rub a dub a dub dub Dr. Pepper in my tub. Y'all, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. So I went to the doctor today and she had some questions for me. And I started answering the questions like any normal person. Except I'm not a normal person. I have never seen a doctor look so concerned in her life. So the first question she asked me was how much sleep I get. I said three hours thinking that's normal. 
I know it's not normal, but it's my normal. She looked at me with the most concerned look. So she was like, what time do you go to bed? I said, I go to bed like at four o'clock, get up around seven. When I tell you she was perplexed, so then she asked about my diet, Lord. She said, okay, so, <laughs> she said, you have a good appetite? I said, I mean, I eat every now and then. She said, what do you mean by every now and then? I said, I think I ate yesterday. She stared at me for a solid 10 seconds before going, uh, okay, you remember what you ate? I said pudding. Fun fact number 60. Did you know that I am scared? What time is it, you may ask me? Let me just check my Hannah Montana alarm clock. It's 4.35. You already know what it is.